everybody. Look at the size of that box. Now, uh, when you would order a fuel line, you wouldn't think it'd come in the size of that box, would you? Well, sorry about the wiggling. Here's the fuel line. Yep. Eight. There, that. Long thing. Well, um, I'm trying to work on the Buick, but I found out something. I can't quite get under the Buick. I got her up on the jacks on the ramps, and that I'm actually going to have to find a hoist. So, yeah, and talking to a couple of people now, seeing if we can use on. So, yeah. Trying to get the wife's car fixed, and uh, I know some of you said, eh, just take and uh, cut the fuel line and put a chunk of rubber in there. Well, this is the area that's the problem on hers, right in here. That slid up there. It's rusted back to this pin, so I don't have a straight shot there. And from what I can see, it's rusted up into here, so <sighs> trying to get that. Not really an option. and. So, we got the fuel line, just trying to get it in. Uh, so, yeah, we're just uh, seeing what's going on, so the, that'll be coming. I'll we'll probably be finishing up on the hoist, so, but yeah, that that box there <laughs> was, well, and that's all that was in there. There was no shipping padding, nothing. Uh... There's the part number for one. So, AC Delco. Yeah. Another board, cardboard box. So, anyway, we're trying. We're getting. And, yes, I, the air compressor's been working great. So, yep. Nice to have that back. Anyway, don't know much else. So, I don't know if the video will be up. For the rendezvous because both hoists might be two days out that I can get to so all right see you later